Jim Rowan once said that enterprise is everywhere we look. In fact, entrepreneurial people see opportunities all the time. If you're the sort of person who sees opportunities in all places that you go, you potentially could be an entrepreneur. But what does that mean? Do you really want to be one? Why would you want to be one? And why haven't you bothered? The majority of people that I speak to who say to me, I have a fantastic idea for a business. Oh, but I haven't actually done it. I really would love to do this, but oh, I haven't got the time. I'm probably held back by fear. Fear that if they try and it doesn't work, everyone will laugh. Fear that if they try and, well, actually, they realise they're not very good. It's a bit embarrassing. But the reality is that most people who have an enterprising idea could, should and would do it if only everybody around them supported them rather than said, who do you think you are? The next Richard Branson. I believe that in the UK and particularly here in Wales, we need to encourage more people to be enterprising from our children right through to older people who may have thought that they've finished work, done for the year, retired, whatever. Because actually any of us can be enterprising if only we really want to be. What's Paddington got to do with enterprise and what are the red shoes got to do with enterprise? Well, I'll tell you this. At the age of 19, I started my first business. It was the first business I'd done alone, but I had been in business before with my mum. My mum used to make these. They're not particularly exciting. I'll tell you this, it's a rip-off of the original Paddington Bear. She made them because she could see a need. And that's what most entrepreneurs see. The need was really simple. We all wanted Paddington. The real Paddington was expensive. And so my mum copied him. This is my original Paddington, so he's over 40 years old. He's had a new coat, don't worry, he's not that manky, all right? But Paddington now travels with me all over the place, teaching people about being entrepreneurial, because my mum was an entrepreneur. She saw a gap, and she took it, and we made these, and I used to take them to school and sell them with her. But the trouble was this, we didn't have the business acumen. We didn't really know how to make the money but we did have the ideas. What we now need to do is help people learn how to take simple ideas and turn them into a business by giving them opportunities. Oh, he's thrown himself on the floor. He wants to go to the beach. <laughs> so what they want to do is show our young children how to take those ideas and make them into business. So you say, what was the red shoes about? So at the age of six, I asked my dad, could I have a pair of red shoes for school? And he said, no. Oh, no way. I wanted them. Do you remember that business I told you about at 19? It was a disaster. I had no idea how to make money. I had no idea how to bring the clients in. And so I went back to school, went back to college, and I learned about business because I knew inside here I had ideas and I wanted to take them further. So I learned how to run a business from college. I learned how to start again and pick myself up. And on one of the days when I set up my second business in my early 20s, when things were just not going too well, my staff looked at me and thought, she's crazy, where do all these ideas come from? And I went to a client meeting and they thought, she's really crazy, does she really think we're going to pay for this? I decided to take myself for a walk into town and guess what I saw in that shoe shop? Red shoes! And so I bought those babies and I put them on and I went back to my office and thought, Actually, I don't think I'm crazy. I just think I need to take my ideas and help other people understand what it is I want to do. Sometimes we just have to take what we think and make it into something easy for other people to grasp and understand. Those red shoes gave me the confidence, gave me the belief in myself and made me want to keep going. And over two decades later, I don't take these red babies off, just in case. I know they don't give me luck, but maybe they do. Help your children feel more confident. Help those around you believe in themselves. If they need red shoes, get them red shoes. If not, help them find their own red shoes. Thank you very much.